What's up guys, Mike Builds back. I had a bunch of comments and questions about this Harbor Freight Pure Sine Wave Jupiter Inverter. Um, people want to know the standby idle consumption and then one guy wants to know if it has a floating or bonded neutral or whatever. So in this video, we're going to take this. I'm going to make a very simple harness to connect it to the... I'm going to make a very simple harness to connect it to our battery bank and then we're going to check the idle draw of the machine or of the inverter. And as you see right now, I'm charging my laptop right now on the 3000 watt Sun Gold inverter. But you can see the battery bank's at 74%. Uh, we're pulling 77 watts. So the Sun Gold power, this inverter pulls about 40 watts, no load, which is pretty good. I thought it was gonna be like closer to 100. I believe this was about 10. So like I said, I'll make a quick little harness. We're gonna hook it up. We're gonna do some voltage checks and uh, we're gonna see what the results are. Okay, we have the Jupiter Pure Sine Wave very jankly hooked up just for testing. Obviously this is not a permanent fixture, so don't worry about it too much about it being janky. So the inverter's off. We're pulling 69 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the big inverter, or some gold inverter. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're at zero watts. So this thing's completely off. So now we're gonna go ahead and kick on the Harbor Freight inverter. And we're pulling eight watts. So that's at idle. So this no load hooked up. We're gonna get about eight watts. So that's pretty damn good for a 2000 watt. All right, now we're gonna get our meter and we're gonna stick it in this prongs and see what the reading is. All right, we got our DVOM. Focus, put it on AC. All right, can you guys see? There's our AC, that's in millivolts, so just ignore that. So that's 117, 117 volts from live to neutral, and then from live to ground, get 11 volts. Make sure I'm not gonna short nothing out doing this. Hundred and seventeen. Okay, so I assume the smaller hole's hot to ground we get hundred and seventeen. And then from neutral to ground we got like what was it? Eleven volts. And like I said, ground to live. I'm really scared doing this. 117, so make what you want with that data. I'm not quite sure what it means. I'm not like, come on, focus. I'm not an expert when it comes to this kind of stuff. So there's the measurements. Let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, I figure since we're here, we're gonna go and check the sun gold inverter. Oop, a little too much. So got our probes set to AC. All right, so 122, 8.3, also a low voltage, and 113, so same thing. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if it's a floating neutral or bonded neutral or whatever they call it, but like I said, kind of make what you want with those numbers. If you know what it means, let me know because I had a guy asking me questions and I wasn't quite sure, um, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching.